couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another awesome beginner video right here on Lickin' Riff and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can play bossa nova using finger style guitar. <laughs> This is the rhythm pattern we're uh, aiming for. I'm gonna show you two basic rhythm patterns and then we're gonna build up to this full pattern. So I'm using this chord, the E minor nine chord, um, the E minor dominant nine, mind you, uh, because it has the seventh and the nine. It's seven, seven, five, seven on strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, seven, seven, five, seven. Okay, this is the root, this is the minor, third, this is the seventh, this is the ninth, okay? Um, you can also do seven, seven, six, seven, and that's a major chord. Instead of E minor nine, you'll be playing E nine. So um, that will change the feel. Instead of, okay? One is more, um, I don't know, um, intense and one is more mellow. So that's up to you, five or six on the fourth string. So let's start with the first rhythm pattern. The first rhythm pattern is this. Okay, this works as bossa nova already. So you play the bass note seven on the fifth string. Then you play a short chord. You play strings two, three, and four. You play them as a short note, okay, like this. Okay, you just let go of the chord. You just unpress it, okay? And then you play seven on the sixth string. You take the second finger from seven on the fifth string to seven on the sixth string, okay? That's the bass move that we're gonna do throughout the lesson. You play that, seven on the sixth string, and then you play a short chord and then a long chord, like this. Okay, you play, you unpress it, then you press it again and play it and let it ring, like this. Okay, so you get... So it's um, fifth string, chord, short chord, sixth string, short, long, okay? Bass, chord, bass, chord, chord, right? That's the first rhythm pattern. Okay, if you want to make this interesting, add one more bass note when you uh, play it's the seven on the sixth string, and then you get this. Okay, you just add one more bass note instead of you get right. It's a very slight difference, but it's a completely different feel. Um, now. Let's add one more chord. Okay, let's go back to just one bass note, single bass notes, um, and we'll add a chord along with the second bass, like this. Okay, so it's the first bass note, the seven on the fifth string, the chord, short, and then the uh, bass note on the sixth string, seven on the sixth string, with the chord, okay? So you play the bass note with the chord and then the chord again, okay? So, okay, like this. Bass, chord, bass with chord, and then the chord again. Then the long chord, so you get this. Okay, so it's short, 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 long, short, 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 long, okay, chord-wise. Bass. Okay, this is the, this is the feel you're going for. One. 
so one. Okay, the long chord, and then back to the beginning of the loop, and you play the bass, and you let the long chord ring. So uh, let's play the second rhythm pattern. Bass with chord. Long, back to the beginning, okay? So, short, 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 long. Short, 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 long. Right, now, after you're, um, after you're comfortable with this, let's add the next pattern to make a whole uh, rhythm pattern. You play this, but the long chord at the end there starts another short pattern, which repeats itself twice. And the pattern is this, long chord, bass, short chord, like this. Okay? Long, bass, short. Okay? Play it. Long, bass, short, long, bass, short. Okay, now it doesn't sound much like bossa nova. Okay, but when you connect it to the previous lick, you get this. Long, long, okay? Did you hear it? Long bass short, long bass short. Okay, just practice this for a while. Can you hear the bossa nova rhythm? Now let's connect it with the first lick. Bass short, bass with chord, and then the chord again, and then long bass short, long bass short. Okay? Okay, that's our rhythm pattern. But we're still missing one chord, which is the long chord at the end, which connects to the first bass note. So just add that after the two long bass short patterns. So first pattern, long bass short, long bass short, long, back to the first bass note, back to the beginning of the loop. So we just added the long note at the end. So listen closely. I'm gonna try and play it as slowly as possible. Okay, and back to the first bass note, the beginning of the loop. Now I'm gonna call it out so you can follow it and watch the tab. Bass, short, 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 long bass, short, long bass, short, long beginning of the loop right one more time okay and you can play this with any chord you like uh, the more extensions the better or seventh or major seventh or uh, flat 13 or 13 chord just search for uh, jazz chords online pick one and play the bossa nova rhythm with it it's gonna sound um, interesting so before you go practice this subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there's a ton of lessons waiting for you and I upload a new one every couple of days and a full finger style arrangement lesson every two weeks or so so uh, go download the tab, the link is below in the description, it's for free, everything is for free on Like a Nerf, and uh, if you want to give something back, there's a large blue donation button on the website right above the tabs, you can't miss it, it's um, large blue and it says donate, and everything goes right back into making the lessons, making the exercises, making the videos, editing them, uploading them, it all takes time and work, and if you want to help out, I'd be more than grateful for it, and I thank you in advance for it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson, bye for now, have fun. Mm-hmm.